now being joined by Jeremy Kennedy. Bear with me for just a second here. We are now being joined by Jeremy Kennedy. We'll begin with a few questions from our media. Join us virtually today. Steve Julian, your line is now live. Jeremy, thank you for the time today. I want to go back for just a moment to your PFL fight with Daniel Pineda and the fact that that ended up being a no contest. Are you still frustrated that that whole situation played out? No, I mean, you, you can't be frustrated at, at that anymore. Everyone else has their own decisions. You know, I there that's something I couldn't control at all. Um, and the way I look at it now is it brought me to here. If not, I would have won that tournament and I would be locked down in doing sitting sitting on my butt, you know, waiting for next season. And that gave me the opportunity to be free, um, explore other options and, and express interest in Bellator. And that's where that's what brought me here. And that's what so I'm, it's a blessing in disguise. Everything's led me to this point. I know I can't really focus on the negatives of all that stuff. I'm just happy with where I'm at now and I'm looking forward to uh, moving forward. Well, it sounds like you're in a good place mentally then, and you've got a good challenge in front of you with a uh, longtime veteran Matt Bissett. So how do you see yourself matching up with him? Yeah, it's, it's a good, it's a good matchup. You know, I like it. You know, I, I like guys that have lots of fights, you know, they're, they're durable. They've been around. There's lots of footage on them. A lot of people know lots about them. Um, and I think he's the type of guy that's going to bring the best out of me. And I don't say that because, you know, Oh, he's, going to challenge me on the feet and on the ground is he he's game everywhere you know and he's uh he's a guy that I have to use everything to put him away you know I, I'm not just going to be able to go out there and outstrike him and, and knock him out or go out there and shoot a double leg take him down and submit him or whatever I'm gonna have to 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 pick him apart everywhere you know from the feet to the floor so that's what I look to do and that's going to showcase a lot of my skill in this debut so I, I think it's a perfect fight for where I'm at right now one more thing for me, if I could, with a combined almost 50 fights between the two of you, would you have preferred to have been a little higher on the card, maybe up on the main card? Yeah, you know, I, 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 I thought that too, but I, I don't think there's, you know, I think there's only three fights on the televised part. So that's pretty, pretty hard to contend with these other guys who've been in Bellator or, uh, you know, you got your Benson Henderson, you got the Grand Prix fi semifinal. So, I mean, it, it's all good to me. It, it's a fight no matter what. I mean, it's my first time fighting in the pandemic. I'm staying right, you know, three floors up. I'm going to walk down and, you know, beat some dude up and then go back up to my room right after. So it doesn't really matter to me. There's no crowd anyways. So I'm not focused on the eyes behind CBS or YouTube or, or the zone and whatever it is. I'm just focused on waking up that morning, going down and doing my job and going back, back up to my room and, and hanging out and watching the rest of the fights. All right. Well, best of luck doing your job on Thursday. Thank you. Thank you very much. Donna? Hey, Jeremy, you fought in a lot of different um, locations. You've done the two fights in one night thing. You've you fought in Saudi Arabia. How does the, the whole bubble experience, the pandemic fight experience, compare to some of the, the, the more farther stretches you fought in during your career? Yeah, man, it's, it's something I wanted to add on the list. You know, I fought in Australia, Brazil, Saudi, Morocco. Yeah, I've done it all, you know, and uh, this – just it just helped prepare me for something like this not knowing what to expect this being my first time um, always just knowing i've had weight bad weight cuts in the past just knowing to always have that dialed in before i get on a plane because you know 90 percent of my flights have been traveling you know overseas and or long travel trips and so when you land you don't know what you're going to expect what kind of water you're going to get what food you're going to get the quarantine was the first time for me here so just taking all that kind of stuff in and, and being prepared ahead of time is what, is what helped me. And uh, I mean, Bellator's got this pretty dialed in, you know, they've been doing this for a while now in the same location, same team, same, same system. So it, it kind of makes things easier knowing that their procedures work. They know how to do it. It's not their first time either. It'd be a little different. Maybe their first event would be a little bit more of a, you know, a disaster on weight cut or any little things getting, getting ready for a fight or mentality or whatever. But uh, to me, especially with the, the long layoff, I think the, um, the no crowd in the, in the COVID times is almost going to play a benefit to my, uh, the, the long layoff, you know, it's just, uh, this is, I don't, it just relieves a little bit of stress of, I haven't had that big crowd feeling in a, in a year and now I'm still not going to right? So it's, and a lot of these guys aren't going to, and 
I'm just a big empty arena. I'm going to go do my job, put this guy away and, and call it a day. You mentioned the, the weight cut. Uh, you mentioned that you've had some tough weight cuts in the past. Uh, of course, we have seen some issues. Jaleel Willis is on this card, missed weight for his last fight, Kerry Taylor Melendez last week. Do you feel like the the bubble experience is going to affect that cut at all? Nope, not at all. I feel great. You know, I, I'm actually lighter today, which I've weighed in tomorrow morning, than I have ever in all of my weight cuts, you know. Oh, wow. And uh, my, the weight cut prior to this was I was a backup for the PFL finals in December. And not even having a fight, I had a lot more no stress. You know, you're not carrying that extra weight of the, the fight stress and all that stuff. And I was even lighter than then. So I'm, I'm, I'm ready to make weight, man. I wish the weigh-ins were tonight. <laughs> it's just a matter of starving right now. And uh, like I said, I just took care of everything prior. I've been in training camp since September. You know, I flew from BC to, to Vegas and uh, I wasn't coming back until I got a fight because of the quarantine and all that stuff. So I, I couldn't sacrifice going home for two weeks and sitting in my house, you know, so I, I flew out to Vegas. I didn't even have the Bellator contract at the time or anything. I just, I flew out and I wasn't leaving until I had got a fight. So I was training like I was going to fight short notice on every, any given weekend since September 9th. So, I mean, we're looking at, at 10 weeks of dieting hard my weight's been low my training's been been solid so I've, i expect the best me to be to be on thursday and the weight cut's just part of it it's the, it's been the best weight cut too the last one from me um you have been in there with the current best in the world uh the the featherweight champion of the world right now do you do you ever envision at some point in your career maybe that you're going to get that one back maybe a few years down the line I mean, uh, wishful thinking in a sense of I'm in I'm in Bellator and I, I plan to stay here, you know, permanently. And and he's in the UFC. He's obviously planning on staying there permanently. But uh, if they if they ever want to do a cross promotion thing, like that is one. Just as a competitor aspect, I want that one back because I feel like I didn't show up. You know, if I would have went out there and, and fought my heart out and and lost, then I would be able to live with that. But that's my only loss unavenged. You know that. I would love to get back just as a competitor standpoint, you know, but it, it is what it is. He's, we've gone different paths. He's done phenomenal since then. Um, so I'm, I'm happy for him. You know, it's not like I, I, I hold a grudge or anything like that, or I'm, I'm gunning for him, but we're on different paths, you know? So uh, I, I would love to, to run that one back again, but I just, I don't see that in the future or, or anytime soon. Anyways. We'll take one or two more, Matthew. Uh, hi, Jeremy. Matthew Allen of Fight Night Picks here. Just wondering, it has been over a year since you have last competed. What do you think you've improved upon the most since the last time we have seen you? Man, tons. You know, that's the, the craziest thing is because I haven't fought, but I've, I've been in a training camp after a training camp, you know. So right after the, the, the playoffs, I was a backup alternate for the finals. So I, I jumped right back into training camp, all, dieted all through Christmas, all that stuff did my training camp. And then I had about a month off in January. Then I started getting ready for the next season that was supposed to start in um, end of April. So I was, I was actually down in, in Vegas and California doing my camp at AKA and, and extreme couture when the world shut down and all that. So I came home in those two weeks of everything d d dead and shut down. I didn't know that the tournament was, was canceled or anything. So, you know, I'm, I'm at home. I had a spin bike, I'm running, I'm doing everything. And, then it got canceled and I didn't know what was going on next because I'd got my release. So I was training for anything all throughout the summer. So I've been, I've been a workhorse, man, this whole year. So uh, I, I just think my whole aspect, you know, from jujitsu, you know, I, I, during a lot of the quarantine, when the gyms were closed, I, I threw the gi back on, which I hadn't done in a long time. And I was doing gi jujitsu probably two hours a day. Um, for a few weeks and then my striking, I was consistently hitting pads in the garage with my striking coach. And I was just, I got to focus a lot on everything specific and not just hard sparring or hard wrestling. I, a lot of technique. So I think my whole game got, got better. Nice. And last thing for me, any junior bacon cheeseburgers lined up for after Thursday? Cannot wait. They don't have a Wendy's here, so it's killing me, oh. but, uh, on the flight home, I'm sure they're going to have something. And if not, it's the first stop I, I get when I land. But I've been craving them, man. I can't wait. It's been a while. <laughs> All right. Thanks for the time today, Jeremy. And good luck the rest of the week. Appreciate it.